In this video, we will see how to install Selenium. We will use Windows computer and Visual Studio Code to do this tutorial. And as a virtual environment, we will use PIP environment. We will not install on the global environment. So this is my preference, but if you wish, you can also use uh, the global environment to install Selenium. But I will use the virtual environment. So the main reason I'm using this virtual environment, so it will keep our code in a single module and the environment will be on particular location. To install Selenium at first we need on folder. I'm going to create a folder. For now I'm creating a folder on my desktop. Right click new and then I'm choosing folder. But you can create folder anywhere in your computer and I'm going to type the folder name is like Selenium Python. Selenium then underscore Python. So this will be our folder where we will code our selenium script but you can create this folder anywhere for easy access i just created this folder on my desktop now let's open visual studio code to open visual studio code we have to click the start menu here and then type visual studio code and you will see the visual studio code just click the over there and the visual studio code will be open shortly if you don't know how to install visual studio code please check my other video tutorial i already completed on video how to install Visual Studio Code. So after opening Visual Studio Code, we need to link that folder first. So what do we have to do? We have to click file and then after that we have to click open folder and then it will show where we want to open. So I'm going to uh, click desktop as my folder is on desktop and from there we created this folder, right? Selenium Python. So we need to go there. We have to select that and then what we have to do, we have to click this select folder, this option, and then this Visual Studio code will map that folder here, and we'll see the Selenium folder is there. And right now, uh, there is nothing right in this folder. If we go to that folder, we'll see that there is nothing. So this is the folder, right? So if we double click it here, we'll see there is nothing. That's why it's empty, and there is a welcome screen. We don't need this welcome screen, so we can close it and then it will be there. Now we need to install uh, Selenium. So to install Selenium, I told you that we will use some virtual environment and we will use PIP environment. And then after that, we will install that Selenium. So what we have to do, we have to go uh, in the terminal. In Visual Studio Code, on the top menus, you will see terminal. Just click there and then on the first new terminal, this is there. So just click there and the terminal window will be opened over there. Once you open terminal window, then what we have to do, we have to type some command. So let me expand this terminal window so that we can easily uh, see what the things we are doing. So I'm going to click this uh, maximize panel size, uh, this button, and it will maximize the terminal. And over there, we have to type the command uh, pip install pip environment. So for anything install using pip, we use this command pip install then the module name. So we are using virtual environment and we will use pip environment this virtual environment. So I am I typed pip install pip environment. Once we finish typing this pip install pip environment, then we have to hit enter key and then it will start installation of uh, the pip environment. This is actually creating a virtual environment for our computer and once it is complete, then you will see some completion message or this type of message. I already installed pip environment before, that's why I'm getting this message. But for your case, it will start installation. So once you complete the installation, we need to switch uh, to that virtual environment. So to switch the virtual environment, we have to type the command pip environment, pip env, then space, then shell. Okay, so right now you are seeing that the environment uh, command, it starts like this way. And we, if we switch the virtual environment, then the command prompt will be changed. So once we type pip environment shell, just hit enter key. And then it will switch to the pip environment shell mode. That means it will jump to pip environment. And it will take some time, like few seconds, like one minute, uh, few seconds to one minute. And then once it is done, then you will uh, see this type message. Successfully created virtual environment. And you are ready to uh, use that pip environment. Okay, and once it is done, then you will find this type of thing. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to install Selenium. After that, we completed the installation of virtual environment. And once you create the virtual environment, 
in your folder like selenium python you will see on pip file and there will be nothing basically if you try to open the pip file uh, that is nothing actually uh, it is actually only uh, telling us that this is the python version and in the package there is nothing so as we didn't install anything that's why the packages are empty now we will start installation of python now we will start installation of selenium so to install selenium what we have to do we have to go to the terminal over here i am expanding this window again and then what we have to do we have to type the command pip environment then install selenium previously we install any package of python by typing the command pip then install then the module name but as we are using virtual environment the virtual environment name is pip environment that's why every time we have to use pip environment to install something or some module in that folder okay in that environment so once you type this thing just hit enter key and the selenium installation window will be appeared very soon and it will take very uh, few seconds to one minute and by that time it will start installation and it will give you the actual access uh, actual progress bar how much is completed and once it is finished installation of selenium then you will get this type of message like success okay here in the green color text it is showing success and this is the progress bar that it is completed successfully so in this way you can easily install and once the selenium is installed you will see in your selenium fold, uh, selenium python folder two files are there one is pip file and this pip file.log if you try to open pip file then what you will see so you will see that there is online it added like selenium then equal then uh, double quote and inside it is star asterisk so what it means it means that selenium package is installed and the version number is the latest version so in this way you can easily install selenium on your windows computer so in this video i just use windows computer and visual studio code to install selenium but if you want to install uh, selenium in other id like pycharm or if you want to install selenium to other operating system like mac and visual studio code or pycharm please check my other video from the playlist thank you for watching i hope by watching this video you are ready to install selenium on your windows environment using visual studio code and pip environment thank you for watching and if you like this video and if you feel this video is useful please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel see you on the next video thank you for watching